Hey guys, welcome to part 8 of my electric playthrough on Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. We just finished the Island Palace, and we're about to continue our journey. Uh, so, coming up next in this game uh, is another part that a lot of people consider to be pretty difficult. It's... oh god. It's really not that bad if you uh, practice, and I really enjoy... This is another part of the game that when I was a kid I would enjoy getting to and just practicing it because it was... I don't know. Okay, first of all, you come to the River Devil and you play the flute. And now you come to this... This crazy game of... Uh, oh man. Of getting stoned to death by lizard people. Uh, but yeah, I would come here and I would just practice dodging stones. I don't know why I found it so fun, but it's, uh, yeah. What? Yeah, it's just... A lot of people find it to be pretty difficult. The stones do a decent amount of damage, and you have to do it three times. And not only that, but they, uh, throw enemies in there. And, like, this, this lizard guy, who I don't want to use the fire spell to defeat, but that's how you would do it if you wanted to hang out in this area. But yeah, it's just a bunch of lizard guys hanging out on top of a big wooden fence, it looks like. Trying to prevent you to make it from making it to the last area of the game. Ooh. Yeah, speaking of when I was a kid, um, this was the... I mean, I had... I think this was my very first Zelda. I have a lot more memories of playing this one when I was young. Um, and I remember liking the first one better. I know that my neighbor had it, and I would want to go over to his place to play it all the time. I think I liked the larger sprites. The characters. Uh, and this game was just too difficult for me. So I would play it all the time, uh, wishing I had the other. But now that I'm an adult, and I've played through both of them numerous times, I, I'd say that I like this one considerably more than the first one. Let's see. It's life. Um, just the, I don't know, just the way this game plays is so nice. I know I talked about it before, but the weight to him swinging his sword, when he jump off of things, he hits the ground and kind of crouches from the weight of his own body landing, you know, it's just... Oof just feels good to play, and the combat feels good. Scorpions. Wait for him to open his eye. Oh, come on. There we go. 150. So I need to get up to 6,000, and I'd like to do that before I complete the next, the next dungeon, and that'll put me at the level cap. Eights across the board. Kind of just cleaning up some pee bags. Gonna walk through the swamps. I believe you move at half speed while in the swamps, which is very frustrating. And earlier I was talking about a good place to grind XP. This is actually the area I was talking about. I mistakenly referred to the other area, and really it's because of these guys. Uh, it's interesting is the red ones are a little bit more difficult to kill uh, But the orange ones give more XP, so it's actually worth Yeah, see See there's 300 Beautiful look at that So yeah, you hang out here Fill up all your your uh, XP if you feel like you need to. Oh. Stupid tech tights. There's a feel to these older Zelda games. The I don't know, just the character designs. It all felt a little bit more gritty, I guess. And I really appreciate that. Like the manual, the official artwork for the characters. And really, you had that... Okay, so this part right here, if you have the hammer, 
most people aren't aware of this, but if you have the hammer... Come on. You can chop down woods, or trees, or whatever. And this town is hidden here. Hidden town of Kasuto. Talk to this purple lady. You deserve my help. Follow me. So basically, this lady, uh, if you have all the magic containers that are available in the uh, overworld, she will give you the final one. So this is the very last magic container. And you can see at the top, all full up. We're only missing one heart container. Okay. And then next... Oh, not this one. The next one is also kind of a unique side mission. Yeah, okay, so one of the few longhouses you come across, but it dead ends. But another instance of Leak Link actually speaking, looks like I can get in the fireplace. So Link is not so much the silent protagonist in this one that he is in other Zeldas. And here is this town's wise man. Remember the magic word, which is just... Spell. The magic word is spell. Uh, that, now, spell has limited uses, but it does have its uses. Uh, for one, uh, I think using it on certain enemies will make them weaker. It'll turn them into bits, I think, those little jelly creatures. Or you can go right here, yeah, where you see the, this supposed dead end. You go to about right here. Cast spell, and you get this ridiculously tall, narrow door. And you get the Master Key. Well, at least that's what I've always called it. Uh, but basically, you no longer need to collect keys. The Master Key will open any lock in the game. All locked doors are now open to you. Even though keys are still found in dungeons, they are no longer necessary. Go ahead and fill up my magic again. And that does it for Kasuto. And then we gotta backtrack through this cave. Actually, I've never really thought about it. You may be able to just walk on the water down there, but I'm not gonna go back and check. Ride the tech tight. There we go. And then once you get to all eights for your level, eight attack, eight magic, eight life, it still shows that you can gain experience and level up. But really, you don't gain any levels. Oh god. You just, uh. You gain one ups which you likely won't get those unless you do heavy grinding, uh, but you, you will get them if you do New Game Plus. New Game Plus, every time you beat a dungeon, you basically get a 1-up, so... Come on. There it is. Ooh. Look at that, two hundo. And then, let's see, right here, Last heart container. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, come here. Come on, open your big dumb eye. Oh my god, I don't know why I want this guy so bad. There it is. 
150? I'll do this guy too then. I guess this is kind of grinding, but... Wow, this isn't much. There it is. 300. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit that 600 or 6,000 before I leave. But play the uh, flute again. And that takes you to the second to last dungeon. I know this was a short video, but I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. And then I'll be back for part 9.